The key to leveling up life and achieving your goals is to build and work on your habits. And to do so, we need systems. In this video, I'll walk you through my personal habit tracking system in Notion that not only helps you stay on top of your goals, but also includes a powerful journaling feature. You can get this template completely for free by the link in the description. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So this is the main dashboard of the habit journal. So once you get the template, you will see something similar to this. On the left side here, we have the today's journal entry, we have the jur journal notebooks, and we have our mood entry uh, folders as well. On the right side, this is our today entry. So you can see the journal entry here and the habit entries right there. You can also toggle it weekly and daily. Then underneath that, we have a progress chart. So this is the new Notion charts feature. I'll show you how to create one similar to this. Then we have the calendar view uh, in weekly and monthly toggles right here. Then we have the monthly report. So all of the your uh, all of your habits are shown here as months. And then we have the details reports showing uh, your weekly and monthly progress based on your habits. Now, so now let's head over and create a new entry for our habit tracker. So every day that you come here inside the Notion Habit Journal, you'll just have to click on this new today entry, this new button right here. So just clicking on it will add a new entry with the with today's date in it. So let's go ahead and click this new button right here. It will automatically add today's date and you will you will see all of your habits right here. And then you can also see the progress. And this is a template for your journal as well. So now let's go back. Now, as you can see, we have already filled up this um, habit entry for today. And we also have a journal entry right here. We can also see the progress chart and now let's head over and check these uh, some of our habits so checking some of our habits uh, auto updates the chart right here so let's go ahead and update uh, check all of them you can see the chart automatically updates you can also see that we are also checking the habits on the journal page as well so these are both connected into one page so if you go ahead and open the journal page we can see that we can connect uh, our journal entry to any specific journal. This is the journal notebook. So as you can see in the main dashboard on the left side here, we have some journal notebook. Now connecting this new entry to our journal notebooks is super simple. Just head over to your journal property, connect to a uh, notebook, and then you can also log moods. So uh, similar to the journal uh, connecting journal no notebooks, we will also go ahead and connect our moods. So here you can also go ahead and add multiple moods if you want. So you can add happy, frustrated, and thrilled, and uh, so on. So this will connect this journal entry to the moods tracking as well. So if we go back to our moods, you can see that we have two entries as happy, three entries, uh, two entries as thrills and uh, thrilled, and two entries as energetic. Now we have to connect the journal entry to our monthly report. So let's go ahead into the journal page here. You can see we have a month's property right here. So what you need to do, similar to the journal connecting journal notebooks and similar to connecting the moods, we'll just have to click on this property right here and then connect it to any current month that we have. You'll have multiple months here and the one that is uh, the current month will show up in green right here. If you want to add a new month, you can just go back to the main dashboard and add a new month from here or you can go ahead and create a new month from that particular property as well. So if you are in August, for example, you can create a new month from here, but be sure to keep the month uh, name first and then the year so that's how notion knows that this is current month or not so uh, let's go ahead and, and add august for example um so now we have created a new month as august as you can see right here we have added new month as august but we are not in um, that particular month so i'll just go ahead and unlink it and connect it to september so now connecting it to september will update all of the information inside the september uh, monthly report you can see we have 100 percent uh, our first habit is 100 percent completed then we have 67 67 and 33 so this gives you an or overall progress of that particular month this is the property right here so we'll just need to run it off so that it shows the correct um so that it shows the correct information we'll just round it off and and then just a minute we'll just multiply it by 100 and then round it and then divide by 100. So now it will show the correct information here. So it, now it shows 67% is our progress for September. Super easy, super minimal uh, view and much easier to use compared to other habit trackers. So only thing that you need to do is add today today's entry. And then you can also use the mark all done today as well. So if we go ahead and uncheck our habits for today, checking this checks all of your today's habits and it's super easy to customize. 
So now let me show you how to customize the habits to your needs. So by default, as you can see, we have six habits and these are uh, the defaults that I have put in. You can go ahead and customize them by editing their name or you can go ahead and add a new one by simply duplicating the uh, default habit. And if you want to remove a certain habit, you can just simply go ahead and delete it, right? So to add a new habit, you just duplicate it and rename it. So let's go ahead and re rename it as new habit. And what you need to do, as you can see currently, checking it does not have any effect on the progress bar. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and edit the formula inside the progress bar. Nothing fancy here, you just have to add uh, th that particular property. So changing it, it to number using the two number uh, formula, uh, using the two number function, we'll change the habit checkbox property into a number property. So let's go ahead and search for our new habit. And now that we have added the number property, so now it acts as a number property. Let's go ahead and change the sixth value here. So before we had a total of six habits, now we have a total of seven habits. So we'll just go ahead and add seven right here. So now I think, as you can see, unchecking and checking it has an effect on the progress bar. So this is how you add a new habit. If you want to remove a habit, you just simply click on it, delete property. And then if you go, if you see the progress bar automatically disappears, this is because there is a, a mistake in the formula. So if you click on the formula here, you can see that we cannot find the new habit property in this row. So what you need to do is just remove, remove this uh, property here and change the total number of habits, uh, which was seven, four to six. Now you can see it's back and everything works for, uh, perfectly. So this is how you add new habits and remove them. Now, if you have noticed that if you add a new habit, let, let's go ahead and add a new habit again. Uh, adding a new habit does not, does not show up in this view right here. So why does it show up here? Because it is hidden. So this property is hidden in this journal view. To make any property visible or hidden inside a gallery view, so this is essentially a gallery view, what you need to do is clicking on this three dot icon, then going into properties, you just have to come here and unhide it from here. So this is a manual process that, will, that you need to do whenever you add or remove a new habit. But if you delete a habit, if you delete a particular habit, it will automatically go away. So this is the process. This process is only uh, when you add a new habit. So now you can see we can simply use it and update the progress bar. We have to edit the formula again. So this is how you add a new habit and delete uh, certain habits. Adding a journal notebook is super simple. Just click here. It will automatically add a new notebook. Similarly, if you want to add more moods, you can just come here under the mood uh, tracking system, mood database and click on this new button right here. It will add any new mood that you want to include inside this um, habit journal so that you can connect your entries to that particular mood. Now, one thing you will have to customize when you add a new habit is uh, the monthly reports. So this is uh, as you can see, we just added a new habit right here and it works perfectly with this progress bar, right? But it does not have any effect on this particular September uh, monthly report. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go into the reports and what we need to do is we need to add a particular habit. So if you see here, this is a formula, formula property that is taking the information from our habit tracker. So this is a separate database. Just go ahead and click on any, any like any um, uh, habit tracking property from here. Just duplicate it and then go ahead and change this uh, previous habit and add your new habit. So let's go ahead and search for our new habit and change the previous habit and add the new habit, right? So, and just change this text as well. So this will uh, update the text and it will also update the progress of your habit. So 33% is the new habit completion rate. If you go ahead and uncheck it, it should be zero. You can see, uh, yeah, it's still hidden. So. We'll have to unhide it, obviously. So let's go ahead and unhide it. You can see 0% is our new habit completion rate. If you check it, it will be 14, 33% uh, based on the month, monthly entries. So this is the average view of the month. So that's pretty much it. Uh, inside the details report, you will see the progress by each week. So this is the total pro progress by each week. And then you have e each individual entry. And then you have the monthly uh, overview of the progress as well. Uh, this is super simple. I'll be creating a dedicated video on how to actually create this template. But if you want to save yourself time, you can grab this template for free from the link in the description. And that's it. Hope you like it. Cheers.